Hey everybody, how's it going? So last time we came to Lornaz Pass and we completed a few heart events down here. So this episode we're going to continue on. Actually the living story has just come back so let's open this. Echoes of the past. Uh, let's view it in the journal just to get rid of it. If you guys would like to see me cover Echoes of the past and record me playing through it, I can do that. Because I will probably be doing that on Thursday when I have some free time. Right, so let's head straight on over okay that this could be a, a mistake jumping down the mountain okay we sh should be should be fine now the graphics may look a little worse than usual for some reason today my guild wars 2 is really laggy so i've turned down a few of the settings and now we're running at around almost 30 fps without any frame drops Oh, we, we have a few frame drops, but that's that's all. So, we discovered a, a point of interest. And now it's sending us off to to discover some more points of interest and waypoints. Which is a bit weird, if I'm honest. Because you'd have thought it would try and send you over to the hearts. So, actually, what I should do, because I turn the sounds down is turn the sounds up for the video so this should uh you should be able to hear the sounds now i apologize if you couldn't before so let's uh i believe i can chop this yet oh i can i didn't think i had the correct logging axe so this is where we're heading to right now we're gonna get this waypoint and then see where the little thing points us. I guess this is guys for guild missions. That's pretty cool. I uh, personally have never participated in guild missions. I may actually try and join a guild to uh, to do some of that stuff. Because I do really want to discover new sorts of things. I have heard from people like Wooden Potatoes these videos. The, the new patch is really good. So I am kind of looking forward to playing that. However, I don't want to let my hopes get too high. I've heard that it's really good for kind of the lore and story. So again, it's sending us off back over to the Windy Cave. So instead of going there, we're going to run down to this scout. So the, the problem with following it is it will send me to every single waypoint but it, and point of interest. But the problem is... <clears throat> it's doing it in such a weird order whereas like I'm trying to level up to try to do the hearts but it'll send me to one point of interest across the map and then to another one that's at the other side of the map which I, I don't understand but this place is yeah. far less secure than we were led to believe the dredge move ever closer and we need all available help to push them back they're also sitting on a gold mine of dwarven artifacts preventing us from studying them on top of that, we've learned of a mysterious new threat. Some sort of steam creatures. We've been trying to learn all we can about them, but we're at a loss. If they're truly dangerous, we need to know as soon as possible. So these are level 30 heart events, but we're only level 26? 24, we're not even level 25 right now. Wow, I thought we was a little bit higher up than that. Hmm. Let's... Do you know what we'll do, guys? Just to kind of drag ourselves through just a little bit more, we'll quickly teleport over to here and we'll go to another starting zone. Maybe... The... Let's go to the Charlands, the Ask... the old Ascalon sort of areas. Because I do... <clears throat> Those are the areas that I have played the least. And they're uh, really cool areas, like in law because of what happened at uh, between the char and the humans back in guild wars one so through here to the black citadel and then we'll run from the black citadel to is it deessa plateau now this is some really crazy concept art because the black citadel does not look anything like this at least from angles that i've seen see Nothing like that. Craziness. <sighs> Let 
Right, so let's do a little bit of uh, management of the inventory here. So we don't get overrun with things. Can we not salvage this thing down? Nope. Right, okay. We can salvage that and that, however, and these. And then deposit everything. We managed to get some luck, which is really cool. Can we put this on it? Nope, level 26. And our karma booster. 26, 25. So we can almost put on these new shoulder pads. Ah, that's actually quite a cool looking shoulder piece. I, I do quite like that. So, what I did plan to do is record a bunch of episodes on Sunday. However, something came up and I only managed to record one. Uh, which, I'm actually recording this right now on a Tuesday night. It's the 4th of November, of course it is. And, yeah, it's I, I feel really strange recording on a weekday. Because previously, I only recorded on weekends. And I did just create my Char Thief. I'm still in the tutorial, um, but yeah, he's he's now on my account. I deleted the level 3 Mesmer that I made, just because I probably would never play Mesmer, if I'm completely honest. The only reason that I made it was because of the possibility of getting Twilight on my character, on my account, sorry. Which means that I could obviously use it on my uh, Mesmer. But I've got my Guardian and my Warrior, so those two are going to be my uh, Twilight wearers. Alrighty. So maybe this zone, we'll complete a heart here, but maybe this zone is just a little bit too low for us. Um, maybe we should head over to the one above it. As you travel, you'll encounter magical Asurin waypoints that you can use for a small fee. To wrap okay, so we all we already know all of this. So maybe we should head up to the Eta Plateau. Hey, come talk to me. Ah. <clears throat> <sighs> Right, so what is this? Right. Help with the farm. Squish spiders. Worm mound. So this is... Uh, this looks very similar to the... The human. The human farming sort of... Little heart that you can do in... Queensdale. So we'll see how much XP this gives us. And if it doesn't give us to about here or further then we will move on okay so fill the pig trough or the cow trough I guess spider let's squish and squish right okay so as you saw there it just isn't giving us enough experience so what we will do is we'll travel we're not going to get a lot done in this episode thinking about it because we've been doing a lot of traveling and figuring things out. So we're going to travel over to here where we can head up into Diesa Plateau. And if we come across a heart that's around level 15, then we may do it. But yeah, this is a really cool sort of area as you can see. This is, I believe this is the wall that was blocking the Charlands from the human city of Ascalon in Guild Wars 1 which is really cool that if it is still that wall then that is pretty awesome the I actually if you if you haven't played Guild Wars 1 and you kind of want to learn about the law I would suggest watching Wooden Potatoes' Let's Play he played basically every single expansion and every single um, like part of that game everything that he could show you he showed you he even has sort of little mini series is where he in between sort of expansions he'd go into dungeons and show you the guys the kind of law that happens in the dungeons i know that i've only seen his first one and a bit of his second one but i watched all of prophecies and played alongside him and that's how i managed to get my uh, Ascalon ghost fiery sword because 
I was basically watching his Let's Play and using it as a guide. And while I was playing, I was listening to him explain all of the lore and explain uh, his thoughts on it and stuff. And it's really awesome. It was... Now, it is quite long. It's about 100 and... Maybe 120 parts. And there are, the videos are about 10 minutes each. So it's about 10 hours of footage. Uh, maybe even more. But if you have got the time... Or even you can just because it's all in parts, you can just pick it up and put it down whenever you feel like it. I definitely do recommend it because it is quite a good watch and it really does teach you about some of the law in Tyria and why some of the characters in Guild Wars 2 act the way they do. Like some chars haven't got over it and some humans haven't got over it. Uh, but yeah, it's it's really good. Alternatively. Like I did, you could pick the game up. It's very cheap now. I got my copy from Amazon, and I think all in all I paid around maybe 10 to 15 pounds on every single expansion, uh, including the base game. So yeah, that's an option too. Of course, if you haven't got the money, then you can always just watch Wooden Potatoes, because it is very, it's fun to watch. It's not one of the things where you're like, um, you know where you just watch and watch and watch and watch just because you've got nothing else to do. It's actually you you want to find out about the story. At least I did and you may do too. So I definitely do recommend it. So we finally arrived at the Essa Plateau. So we'll see what awaits us here. We may actually get a few hearts done. Or maybe a couple at least. Now I'm hoping we've been kind of dropped in at the sort of high end. So we can just quickly, as quick as we can, do a few of the hearts here. Maybe get a level up, level 25. So all of the zones from now, I've only really completed fully, maybe tw once. A lot of the zones on my first character that I ever had, I didn't complete. So I, I basically uh, crafted him up near enough from about level 60 maybe so yeah he's he was crafted so was my necromancer my necromancer was also crafted actually no I only got to level 60 on my warrior uh, before deleting him and making a non to then delete the non again later on then come back to the human right let's talk to the scout here Oh, uh, okay, we go. Lumber for the Legion. Right, that's good. We won't listen to him because we've listened to enough scouts this episode. We have a heart here, which is level 23, which is fantastic. I do wish there was, like, an alternative way to level up. I think maybe on my thief, I may level him up purely with world versus world. At least that's what I'm thinking because I'm kind of... I don't want to burn out before this series is over and... Obviously, if I do well versus world, I'm not going to burn out of, obviously, the the hearts because I won't be doing them. I'll be doing uh, well versus world. That'll also help me progress on my play. I'll also, obviously, get a lot better at playing the game by doing well versus world because you have to sort of learn multiple things. So we seem to be lagging a lot as well right now. Which isn't good. Especially not for video. I'm hoping it doesn't last too long. Although it appears that it's going to want to last for a while here. Right, okay. This is never good when you're recording. Okay, so let's try quickly here, as you can see. If we get involved with this event here, we, sh we should probably level up. It just means we've got to try our hardest to get at least a little bit done. And then we'll probably get a nice amount of XP from doing the events. Right, let's... Ah, there's another guy right here. So as you can see right now, we are hitting quite high. Considering that we're only level 24. And... We're kind of built for toughness instead of anything else. 
that's a uh, Char Necromancer. I really do like how Char Necromancers look. I think some Char Necromancers look better than Sylvari Necromancers. But they have to be done in a certain way to make them look really good. Like, there's certain armors that look really nice on a Char Necromancer. But there's other ones that just look disgusting. Right, okay. Let's try and get this, this event done. We're almost done with our heart already, and really, we've just been working on the event, which is good. Right. So they're collecting, I guess, Tinder, maybe? It looks that way, although they're not really doing anything. Let's jump over here and help this worker out. Ah, uh, as soon as I move away, we get, uh, we get Lakers over here. I really do like this guy in these zones as well. I think they look really cool. Right, one more should get us the heart complete, and that should get us the level. Awesome. See, these, these enemies are quite annoying, the way that they disappear. They're kind of like the thieves of the... of the NPC world. Alright, so we're leveled up. Let's see what we got. Ah, we actually got some new shoulders ourselves. However, are our shoulders good? They actually are. Hmm, what do these ones look like? I'm sorry guys, but that one wins, even though it's maybe not as good. We've got a tiny crafting bag as well, which is pretty cool. Right, so let's, uh, again, continue here, try and get this event done. I actually, not long ago, logged on to one of my characters. I believe it was my elementalist, and I did this event just for fun. Just as I was running by. And it is, it's always good to just kind of drop off and do events every now and again. Right, let me salvage some stuff and get rid of it. I hate having like cluttered inventory space. Oh, we have a mill. Ah, is this, what is this? Hmm. I thought that maybe it was uh, the introducing us to the first dungeon, but it appears not. And this event seems to be taking us quite a while. However, I do definitely want to get this event done before we end this episode. Because it's almost done and it should give us a bit of experience. So I haven't really been keeping up with my dailies. Which is naughty because I should be. Because I'd need those tier 6 materials. And once I have those then I just need gold. And Twilight is man. So if I... Quickly take a look to see how much Dusk is selling for currently. It is around... Ah, it's, it's raised again. It's gone back up to nearly 1,500 gold. Uh, which is a little bit disheartening. I had like a crazy moment of should I just gamble it all and put it in the Mystic Forge? And luckily I talked myself out of that. Um, but yeah, it was, I came close to almost buying some, some great swords and putting them in the forge, but then I talked myself out of it because obviously I don't want to put all of my money into swords and then not get anything back. 
I mean, that's the sort of thing that makes you quit games right there when you have nothing left. Okay, so it got complete, but I didn't get an event complete for it. Hmm, that's kind of annoying. Oh, well, guys, we're going to leave this episode right here. So until next time, guys, bye-bye. And we forgot to wait. Okay. See you later, guys.